And I'm going to show you where today's adventure shall take us. Just bear with me a second here. I've never tried it like this before. Coming in with an intro from Google Earth, a big old Lake Erie, and showing up hiking trails, and national forests, provincial parks. Going to be up there this summer at some point, Algonquin Provincial Park. But that's not where we're going today. Seen something that's slated for demolition, and I would like to be able to go out there and get a quick walk around video for a lot of us. Personally, myself, I was too young at the time to ever have gone here. But we all know about Shaw's Ice Cream. On the way to Port Stanley, Long Highway 4. I don't care about AMD gaming right now. So here's Shaw's Ice Cream, right? Nice big open field, you can bring your family, have a picnic. But, years before, there was a flower and wicker shop. You could see the greenhouses. Apparently, from what I was reading, these are already gone. So I'm going out today to try and get a video of what's left of the building see it here and it looks like a windmill style building nice big open property on the side here too isn't that great it's too bad it's just gonna be gone nobody wants it you could make a great cafe or something you'll see when I get out there and then there was a go-kart track too and looks like they built the greenhouse right over the go-kart track unless it was a part drive through I'm not sure it was too young I didn't know so if it's uh, still there and still accessible and if I deem it viable, we'll go for a walk around the property and just see what's left before it's gone. A lot of people had some great memories here, and I'm sure they'd like to check it out.
made it. Welcome everybody. I'm bringing you along for the adventure. A little bit different setup today because the regular camera, the battery was dead in it. And I don't have a cord to charge it by pack. Look at this, it's such a beautiful day. Sorry about the wind noise. People out hauling ass in their sports cars. People riding their bikes. And they're probably moving as quick as I do on my e-bike. Boy, am I ever out of shape. This is why I need a bike again, so I can be in that kind of shape. People out doing their farm work. Like, it's just, it's just that nice out. It's beautiful, sunny. So we won't be going inside this place here. Just gonna grab my coffee and then I can lock up the bike. Yes, I stopped for coffee. But at least this way, I know if anything gets tampered with on the bike, then uh, I'll know about it, because that's a really loud alarm. So here it is. I don't know what the actual name of the property is, and I realize there's a Royal LePage thing for the two acres of land for sale. So I plan on showing that in case there's somebody who wants to turn this into a great family restaurant or something. But it was a flower place, a gardening center, and a... Uh, there was a go-kart track by the looks of it on the map we're gonna check that out but there were also a wicker place and years of neglect just being abandoned you see that open window up there leaves for moisture gets in rain gets in and the place just rots we lost Alma College in a very similar manner hang on a sec had to open my timmies. Triple, triple, half hot chocolate. Loads of sugar. You see this nice two story. Almost all the windows have been left wide open. Tin ripped off the sides, insulation's just left wide open. Drying it all out or something. And as much as I'd like to go on inside and get a really nice video of this all for you people, I just, I don't want to get in any trouble. Some of you guys might be like, oh hell, it's wide open, go on in. But no, I just, I'm not taking those chances. So I'm going to show you the best I can what's left of it from the outside. You can tell this is all this long section along here. It's all just greenhouse. And if you look on the map from Google Earth or Google Maps, you can actually tell that uh, the go where you can see where the go-kart track was, and it goes around partially into the building. So the go-kart track was first, and then the greenhouse, as I'm imagining. But, I'm really hoping nobody comes along and gives me crap for just walking around because I'd really like to be able to document this place before it's gone. There you go. Look at this. We're gonna walk back around this way and then I'll follow the track around just to show you where it is. But you See over there, kind of tell where it goes off. All this moss growing up on the concrete. You know, if you got out here with some shovels, some rakes, you could actually clean this up a bit, fill it in a little bit. We could race e-bikes out here. 
Yeah. So this is where the track would have went around into the property here. You can see. And then this long greenhouse, so we're gonna cut across the grass as to not go into the building structure area. I've been texted. This is, uh, for those of you, and I'm gonna share this in the local St. Thomas group, you know you grew up in St. Thomas. You could probably tell us all about the heydays of this place. People who've probably raced this go-kart track. And I'd love to hear all about it. I really would. Because it's those memories that keep places around. It's those memories that keep us remembering what it was. Telling future generations what they're missing out on. You can see a great big con concrete structure here. This would have been part of the building. Walking through the weeds. Walking through the weeds. Big old ventilation piece. There's this end of it. It would have went around and into there. But for sure, the greenhouse was built on top of after. So I'm guessing this track was probably closed back in the 80s. What do you think? Looks like it's been about dead and decaying that long, the track itself anyways. And I'm seeing slight remnants of concrete underneath my feet here in this area. I'm walking over this way to get this side of the building actually show you and we'll even have a we'll have a peek inside we won't go inside but we'll have a peek and put the camera right up we'll have a little gander and you guys see that all right look crawling up Great big well there. A stone slab to keep critters and people out. Come across those before where they were actually wide open. Here's a an actual open window. Have a look. This is where I guess part of the display room might have been. The ceilings look kind of saggy. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just me. really doesn't look that bad. If you wanted to invest in this place and actually do something with it, look at the ample traffic going by. This is early spring. Just down the road, another five minutes drive is Port Stanley, Ontario. There's a harbor, marina, a couple of beaches, all kinds of uh, seasonal stuff. We've got a Masonic Lodge there and Kathy's Catering which is local St. Thomas. And I might as well go up and show you this sign here before we walk back the rest of the track. He likes fine. And there's Shaw's Ice Cream right next door. So people could come here, a little cafe, coffee shop, dealie, then go next door for dessert for ice cream. It just works. Now here is a Barry Graham sales representative, Royal LePage commercial. There's the number. Somebody please buy this place and do something awesome with it. Let's not see another Tim Hortons show up in the middle of nowhere. The world has too many of these places. If there had been a coffee shop along the way that offered homebrew coffee, a sandwich, I would have stopped. But it's Timmy's. All right, we're going back around this side. So we'll get a we'll get a peek. Close as I can get you. see you in there or not. This is great. If I had the money, I'd buy it and turn it into a home. If 
I had the money, I'd buy, buy the place, renovate it, turn it into a home. And of course, you know, I'd fully restore that go-kart track and part of the greenhouses so I could grow my own food all year long. There's a cement pad here. Mm. This one's slightly bigger than the other one. Come in a little garage or storage or something. So we'll go back to the track without walking through too much mess. I guess I gotta go back over here. Hey, see these plants here? I've heard they're edible. They have curative properties. I don't know the names of them yet, but I have soon to plan to pick up outdoors books. It shows me all my wild edibles, all my different kinds of trees, all my different kinds of fish. Which ones boast more nutrients? What I want to eat if I want to get fat? And believe me, I want to get fat. I'm like super skinny. I'd love to be fat. At least a little bigger. So we're going to walk the remaining of the go-kart track. Come back up the other side of this place. And then... Uh, then I guess we'll head her on back to town. Oh, by the way, see this over here where the big parking lot and everything is? It was apparently driving theater years ago. Here, we'll take a detour, we'll pit stop off the side of the go kart track. Okay. I'll have to see that when we come back. If I could go back in time, stand in this spot, and superimpose this exact same pan, pan video clip, what it looked like back then to what it looks like now, it would probably be pretty cool. Oh yeah, if I had a time machine, you guys would see some cool stuff, but I don't. Look at that. Aren't those nice and pretty? Beautiful, a little bit of color popping up here. We got some kind of a ditch or something, or maybe it's not a ditch, maybe it's a mound right here. Walking back along the go-kart traps. How track, how many laps did you do on this track 30 years ago? How many times did you wipe out on this track 30 years ago? Tell you, you probably do a lot more now. Oh yeah, you see that? Nature will always win if man isn't around. Everything we've built here in North America in the past 200 years would be gone in a fraction of that time if we weren't here to maintain it. This is kind of an example of showing you this asphalt. Plants will push right up through that. They don't even care. Just keep on going. It's rocks. I love seeing that. Reminds me of the awesome power of nature. And then of course, where we came in on, track curved back around. It's kind of a big kidney bean shape, a, a mutated kidney bean shape. And out back of Shaw's. I am really glad I got out here and filmed this. I have no idea when they're planning on tearing it down. I really wish they would just forget the idea and let somebody buy it. Or that somebody would come along and buy it.
Very cool though. The right person with a bit of green. Money. Actually our money's multicolored, right? So I guess it'd be greens, blues, reds, and browns. Mainly them browns and reds. I don't know what color a thousand dollar bill is, but anyway, you got the money. This could be quite a little haven. And believe me, it would be worth the investment for the seasonal business. Just gotta learn how not to spend all year long. Save your money for winter. We have a kick-ass season every year. We have a big tent for those. But there you have it, people. My video adventure for today, out to the old wicker and flower place for that go-kart. Isn't it wonderful? Sad, sad to see it going, but I mean, it's wonderful. I mean, right next door is Shaw's. Peel in for a banana split. I'd like to today, but I think I'm gonna hold off on ice cream intake. I'm gonna try something different for the way home. Uh, if I include it in the video, then I include it in the video. If not, then I don't. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Till then, don't forget to share. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my videos, please. I need more subscribers.